Hi, I'm Shruti. The human digestive system is the focus of this video. about the human elementary canal. The human elementary canal begins at the mouth and ends at the anus. From the mouth, the food moves to the pharynx, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, rectum, and finally the anus. Now, let's get familiarized with the parts in human digestive system. The human elementary canal begins at the mouth. Mouth is also known as buccal cavity. Mouth has the teeth, the tongue and three pairs of salivary glands. Human teeth are designed to take in animal as well as plant food. Teeth help us in chewing our food. Tongue is a muscular organ. It mixes the food with the saliva. There are three pairs of salivary glands. Salivary glands secrete saliva. Saliva contains a carbohydrate digesting enzyme called salivary amylase. The food enters into the pharynx from the buccal cavity. This is the location of pharynx. Pharynx is the common path for both food and air. The food that we ingest passes through the pharynx and is directed into the food pipe. The air that is taken through the nose passes through the nasal passage, reaches the pharynx and it is directed towards the windpipe. From the pharynx, the food moves down to the stomach through a muscular tube called esophagus. Esophagus runs along the neck and the chest. In an adult human, it is around 25 centimeters long. The food moves from the esophagus to the stomach. The movement of food from the esophagus to the stomach is controlled by a ring of smooth muscle called the sphincter muscle. Sphincter muscle opens in response to the pressure exerted by the food in the esophagus. Sphincter muscle prevents the backflow of food from the stomach into the esophagus. Stomach receives food from the esophagus. Stomach is the widest part of the human elementary canal. It is in the shape of a flattened J. The inner surface of the stomach is highly folded. It can fold up when it is empty and will have a volume of just 50 milliliters. It can open out as it is filled with food and contain two to four liters of food. The food now leaves the stomach to enter the small intestine. This is the small intestine. Small intestine is the longest part of the elementary canal. It is fit into this compact space because of the extensive coiling. The small intestine is the site of complete digestion of food. It is also the organ that absorbs the nutrients. The large intestine receives undigested food from the small intestine. This is the large intestine. It is called large intestine not because of its length but because of its large diameter. There is no digestion taking place in the large intestine, but the undigested food is compacted within the large intestine. The compacted feces from the large intestine moves into this short tube called the rectum. The 
This short tube is called the rectum. The compacted feces from the large intestine enters into this rectum. From the rectum, the feces exit the body through an opening called the anus. Now let's see about the accessory digestive organs. The pancreas, liver and the gallbladder are the accessory digestive organs. This is the pancreas. It is located at the junction between the stomach and the small intestine. The pancreas secretes pancreatic juice. This is liver. It is the largest organ in our body. It is located on right side of the abdomen. The liver produces bile juice and the bile juice is stored in a sac-like structure called the gallbladder. So, these are the organs involved in the human digestive system. It is comprised of the elementary canal and the accessory digestive organs. Thanks for watching the video.